Hello Internet, Retro Kevin here. Today I'm going to be working on an N64 power supply that was tested and not working from a previous video. So let's head over to the workbench and get to the good stuff. We'll start by using the 4.5mm Nintendo bit to remove these two screws. There's two clips that hold this shell into place. There's also a pad sticking the board to the other side of the shell. I'll start testing these six capacitors using this in-circuit tester. This first one has a microfarad rating of 270. Following where the light was over to the microfarad rating, we'll see that it's in the red, meaning this cap is no good. I'll just mark it so I don't forget which caps need replacing. Next one has a rating of 330 microfarads. This one looks like it's in the yellow and red, so I'll just go ahead and replace this one as well. Now for this bigger cap at 1800 microfarads. It's in the green, this cap can stay. And this one's at 220. Another in between yellow and red, I'll replace that one. This one tucked away is 56. Yeah, it's a little iffy, so I'll just replace it. And this last one is 100. It's in between the green and yellow. I'll keep it there for now. Let's get to desoldering and replacing those caps. Once the cap is removed, I'll clean the area with denatured alcohol. Now the board will show us the polarity that the cap goes in. The bottom one with that white dot is the negative. The capacitor will have a stripe on the negative side. Generally, the positive lead will also be a little longer. I added a bit much solder to that first lead. So I'll just take it a little more easy on the soldering from now on. This cap I don't have a direct replacement for on hand. Generally, it's okay to go up in the farads and the voltage. Do not go down on either of them, because it can cause a capacitor to pop. There are cases where you do want to have an exact replacement. I won't go into details for now. Honestly, this next one I'm a little worried about. I'm jumping from 56 microfarads and 35 volts to 100 microfarad and 50 volt. Sadly, that is the closest replacement I have on hand. The 
Okay, so all the caps I had marked are replaced. Let's get this put back together and test it out. And it works! So today we saw one way to fix a power supply that isn't working. However, unlike what I did, I do recommend replacing capacitors with the same farad and voltage as the original. Anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.